Um, hi, I'm Megan from Chimunky. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, so I have a question for Marseille. Uh, you have such amazing energy in the booth as Liberty. So I'm anxious to hear what it is, what's your process like getting that energy so that it kind of comes through in Liberty? You know what's crazy? I I really don't have a process when it comes to voiceovers, really. I just hop in the booth and just kind of go for it. Um, the first session, I will say, is the hardest because you're really trying to start what the what the character is really going to sound like. I mean, it's it's really going to be tough. So when I just heard how wild and fun Liberty seemed to be throughout the lines, I was just like, OK, so this is obvious. Like this girl is wild with everything. Like she's super confident and determined. And uh, even the first opening scene, like it's it's obvious that she is definitely uh, a wild one. So it's. It was so amazing to play a character such as Liberty and just to be just to be loud, just to be fun and uh, have a good time throughout the whole entire film. Hi, guys. Amy from As the Bunny Hops. And I would love to know what the recording process was like. Were you guys working from home or were you able to actually get into an actual recording studio? What was that process for for you? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was wondering for you a second. Um, well, for this one, it's funny because I did uh, one other uh, voice recording thing before COVID, and it was oddly enough actually pretty much the exact same process um, now and also the one before. We're just kind of, you're, you're in like a little booth and it has like padding all around and you just have like a microphone and I there's like a little thing, like a little camera or uh, not, uh, there's like a camera and like a screen that shows the people like the directors and people and you're just sitting there in like a chair or standing and you have your script and then there's like one person in the other room at like a different booth that's just kind of like uh, doing whatever they're doing <laughs> so pretty much always is just me and my mom and my mom's in a different room with the person who's working all the switches and things and I'm just standing there just saying my lines <laughs> Yeah, even at that, like, during a pandemic, too, it was different. So I had to do some of my things at home. So I was in this right here with this table that y'all are on. And I was just, I just set up a camera and they set up, um, they sent over like a mic. And that's what I did for like, I think, one or two sessions. And then when the restrictions started to loosen, we came back and I think I had to do the lines over again because it just wasn't it. It was just like, mm, you have a little sister. It's going to be a little, it's going to be hard. So, <laughs> um, no, it was, it's, it's pretty cool to see the whole process of it all. Hi guys, I'm Tessa Smith with mamasgeeky.com. We loved the movie. My daughters were especially excited to see another female pup step into the Paw Patrol. Um, so Marseille, I'm curious, do, are we going to see Liberty again? Can you talk about that? I don't know. I mean, we've, we've, we've done the film, so we'll see. It's going to be exciting to see her if she ends up being in the series or something. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So you guys mentioned going back into the studio to do some of your sessions. I'd love to know, were you able to see each other during some of these sessions to kind of chat together with any of the other characters? Go ahead, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait for you. Um, no, it was. It's funny because I actually have not even met Marseille in person, which is just crazy because we were in a whole movie together. We've done like fifty interviews together, and I've never even gotten to meet her. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. Corona. It's, corona. It's, it's all about. It's all about Corona. corona. Yeah. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, actually in general, um, for all voiceover stuff I've done, and even for voiceover auditions, there's generally no one else uh, in the room with you um, for a lot of, for sound reasons, for, and now for COVID reasons. Um, but yeah, I have not met any of my fellow castmates on uh, Paw Patrol the movie in person. They're all amazing people though, and I cannot wait. Well, I would love to know how close are you guys in real life to your characters of Liberty and Chase? Oh, I mean, some things Liberty do. I'm like, slow down, girl. 
hold on, slow down. So, I mean, it really depends, but the confidence wise, we are kind of both in the same alley. Um, and we, we kind of strive to do what we want to do. And uh, Liberty has big dreams. I have big dreams and we will work really hard to, to get it done, you know? So I think that's uh, one thing that we definitely have in common. Uh, yeah, Ian, how about same question for you? What, uh, what, what, how do you relate to Chase? Well, I think he's, oh my gosh, I, I think he's just a very um, heroic and funny and brave guy. And he, he always tries to help others, which I think is a great quality. I think um, we should all try to be like Chase because um, he's, you know, he's brave, he's funny, he's kind. And also I think um, what's interesting is in this movie, you really get to see him face some fears and come out of it very bravely. Uh, which I think is a, a wonderful characteristic. And, you know, bravery isn't not having fear. It's having fear and facing your fears. Um, but yeah, he's a wonderful character. Very glad to got to, I got to play him. Um, also, I think Liberty's pretty awesome too. I mean, I feel like if you merge the two together, you have like the perfect dog. <laughs> so you both have a lot of great live action roles under your belt. So I'm curious to know, do you enjoy being in the sound booth uh, and doing some voice acting? Which do you prefer? I love them both, honestly, for multiple different reasons. I think with live action, you are you are in the character like you are you have wardrobe you have the people that you get to act with it's a whole different vibe and it's like like building a reality it's kind of it's kind of cool but with voiceovers you get to walk in a studio with some sweats on and just <laughs> be in be in a session for one or two hours and then you bounce you know that's that's about it so um it's very different and as you can tell I can love them for two different reasons I, I mean, I love doing both of them. Um, I think, I mean, I, I can't say favorite, but I, I, I really enjoy doing live action just because um, I've been doing it the longest and it feels very natural to me. Uh, but I do love voiceovers a lot. They're really fun. And like Marseille said, you can just, you could come in in pajamas and they wouldn't care. Um, I think I went to one in like a pajama shirt, actually, not kidding. <laughs> I had, I had like jeans on and like some kind of like dumb pajama shirt. And I was just like, Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even wear jeans. I'll be wearing a onesie. You got me in a onesie and I still have my dang house shoes on. 